Hey guys, a couple of videos to go back. I got this uh, CRK knife. It's the, uh, let me pull it out to remember, the Dewhawk McCallan design there. Let's see if it'll, there, that's a little better. So it's the Dewhawk McCallan design, and it came from Tac Pack. This kid, this one's not sponsored. This came from my brother and his best friend or friend, um, Frank. Him and I hang out quite a bit. Looks like they've got a little uh, instruction pamphlet. And then they've got these, uh, ugh. so it's a bag, in a bag, with some screws washers, and a nut. Okay, so let's see this thing. Okay, so it snaps to your belt or to whatever, and you can uh, snap it into place. Well, that's kind of cool. You can lock it so that it doesn't come loose. I like that feature. So, looks like we've got indentations on this side so that we can kind of set it up however we want, I assume. Let's see. Do those. So you can get two there. You can get two there. Let's see. A. So I'm not exactly sure on that. Looks like there's one screw up here too. On a guide almost. Let's let's take a quick look through here. Designed by Vets. Driven by duty. This is forged by war. Is what that one says. So Gives you kind of that little picture there. How to win over an uncontacted Amazon tribe. Spend months meticulously learning their customs. Bring pizza. Use your chance in hell machete to build them a state-of-the-art live animal trap. <laughs> That's pretty slick. So it tells you also how to care for your knife. It tells you keep the cutting edge sharp. Regularly clean the blade with mild soap and water. Keep a light coat of machine oil on the blade. Periodically lubricate the blade pivot area. Periodically check the tightness of the blade pivot area. Don't use the blade to pry. Turn screws, dig, or scrape. Use the, don't use the knife as a hammer. And do not put your tool away dirty and wet. So, it doesn't quite tell you how to hook this on. So I guess it's just kind of a however you want to do it or however it fits. I don't know, I'd almost, with how tight that is of a snap and not coming out, I wonder almost if we could set it up upside down or something like that. Hmm. Kind of would want more than one to line up. I would think something. I don't know. It's kind of interesting. This I would have loved just a little bit more instructions on because I don't know if just putting the it's like right here, these two line up, but nothing else does. So that would be a very weak way to do it. So if we go like this, again, these two line up, but it's not long enough for that there. Um, if we put it over here, so that's the thing I can get like two of them to line up. 
but I can't get more than two. Hmm. Well, let's go ahead, see I guess with two. I mean, there's two screws and two, so I guess two is the amount you're supposed to. I would assume though you'd want them kitty corner, but, <clears throat> sorry guys. <clears throat> but let's find out, I mean, is there? So you could do something like that. That would give you kind of a kit. Let's see how that looks. So if we put one in there. We put... Ah. I guess they weren't quite, quite lined up. So in that case, it would have to, hmm. So it would end up like that. So let's uh, slide these guys out. Put the rubber on this end. Slide this guy out. Put the rubber on the screw side, not the bolt side. So I want it kind of hanging down. So let's see if I can get this like this. Be -doo -be -doo. Take these, the nut side. Screw it on. Not gonna get very tight with this one. Wanna kinda of see if this is what I like or it looks like I mean with how they've got it set up, it's not that hard to tighten and to loosen. I just feel like there should have been like three screws on it, maybe. And like I said, well, maybe this will hold it right, but. And with how it is, I mean, there's, see, I don't like that, that little bit of play on that edge. So this would set like that on your belt, which then, I mean, that'd be nice to take in and out, but I don't like that little bit of play. Oh, hey. Yeah, I don't like that little bit of play, so I wonder if this guy has anything to do with it. Anyway, I'm gonna mess with this some more, guys, see what I can figure out. See if I can't figure out a better, different way to do this. But, I mean, if I can get that to stay on pretty nice. That, I like that belt clip. And I know some of that wiggle would come out when I tighten it. It's just that little bit right there, which I bet you I'm doing wrong. So I'll let you know in the future when I find this out. You guys, however, have a wonderful, wonderful and blessed day.